that go to action, which is the most important part of this uh, event. Um, first of all, I'd like to really recognize a few people here. Um, I would like first to recognize Hasna Bora, who is the receiving board of this coordinator of the Council of Islamic Organizations of Greater Chicago. She would be the very busy in the next four years. Hopefully not more than four years. Now would be, already am. We contact her about things related to the Council civic engagement and we have a very busy schedule linking with our partners and fighting the good fight. The second one I would like to recognize is Brother Ahmad Ali from the Islamic Foundation. preparing this event and also for Ahlam Jabara. Without her help, we would not be able to This is done, this event was arranged by the Council of Islamic Organizations of Greater Chicago, Greater Chicago CIOGC, which is a federation of 65 member organizations, mosques, schools, civil rights organizations, social service organizations, refugee organizations that represent the Muslim community of Illinois in its diversity. And as you've seen, we have very diverse community. And also without our partners in the faith and civic groups, the Catholic community, the Christian community, the Jewish community, uh, the Latinos, the African American, this event would not be successful. I'm really more indebted to you than to my own community because without your presence in the airport on Friday in our mosque and today, uh, we would have lost a large, important part of our community. This is not a I would like to recognize also a national organization that is represented by its leader, Brother Osama Jamal, who will represent the United States CMO, which is a council of Muslim organizations, linking all Muslim organizations at the national level. And also Sister Seema, uh, Simi Chaudhry, who is representing the mayor of Chicago, Mayor Emanuel. Simi, are you still with us here? She left. Uh, but she was with us here and she represented the mayor. Um, also, I would like to represent the people who have no passports. Um, <laughs> we are actually not only people who are holding passports, but people who are naturalized citizens, people who are undocumented, people who are immigrants, and we are all proud of all of their contributions. And we will support you until we have comprehensive immigration reform that every person who is living in this country and contributing to the welfare of this community is going to feel that they are part of the world. Having a passport does not mean anything, uh, by the way. Uh, being American and contributing to the welfare of your community means a lot. Um, the most vulnerable people who will be impacted by the Muslim ban and the agenda of Steve Bannon are people who are students in the schools, uh, Muslim women who are clearly Muslim women, because for me, my patients think that I'm Puerto Rican or Muslim. <laughs> but for my wife, everyone knows that she's Muslim because of the headscarf that she is wearing. So we need really to be, uh, um, first of all, uh, cognizant of the fact that the people who will be affected by this ban is not me or you, but people who are going to school will be bullied, and the women in the street, and also our refugees who do not have voice. So we have to be the voice of the women, the voice of the students, and the voice of the refugees, because these are the people who have not As you have seen, Muslim women have very strong voice in our institutions. Uh, most of the people who spoke today were women, and we are proud of the contribution of the women to our Muslim institutions. So what to do next? So on Friday, I was in downtown Islamic Center, and some other mosques also have actions, called uh, actions, where you have people from the Catholic community, from the Jewish community, from the Latino community, from civic groups coming to your message and showing solidarity. It looks like it's spontaneous, but it is not spontaneous. It took a lot of preparation. It took, first of all, a national coalition of civic and refugee and immigrant group and faith groups to decide that we will do this action. It took collaboration of, co of coordination committee like the Council of Islamic Organizations in Greater Chicago. It took that contribution of faith partners in the Catholic community, the Jewish community to be part of this. So without action, without 
strategy. Without plan, we will not be able to fight the good fight. So it is very important for each one of you today who was witnessing and this event and witnessing the affairs in the last two weeks to be part of this action and this strategy. So we need to mobilize first. Mobilize means that when we have um, a demonstration, all of us should be coming to the demonstration and telling people to come to the demonstration. When we have an event like this, you made us very proud. We have to show up and we have to show that we are a united community. Black, white, um, Republican, and Democrats, we are not partisan. And sometimes we may have a message, message against Republicans, but we have very good Republicans who are identifying with the core and the essence of this country, and they are not liking what they are, what they are hearing from uh, Trump and the <laughs> Mobilize. Secondly, advocate. When someone asks you to call the Congress, to call your congressman, to call your senator, to call the White House, you have to do that. It is your minimum responsibility. This is the minimum of faith, as we say in the Islamic tradition, just to pick up the phone and call someone. The fact that we did not have that many congressmen today is not good. Yes, not for the thank people. You. Yes. Yes. Where is a congressman who represents this area? He should have been here and telling us and sharing with us the, that what he's doing on behalf of our community. People who represent this area did not pick up the phone after this event and called the Congress, Congressman Raja who was supposed to be here. That means there's a problem with your faith. Not only problem with your American ship, but with your faith. Call your congressman and tell them that we are in need for your help. And you are hired because of us. Yeah. And you are our voice. Senator Goldberg is our voice. We our behalf. And every congressman, every senator should be doing the same and show solidarity with the Muslim, with the Latino, with the immigrant community, with the African community, because this is what is this country is built on. Yeah. You are hired, you are voted by the people to represent the people and to speak on behalf, behalf of the people, not to speak on behalf of corporation or uh, interest group. We are the people. We are the people to show it. To show that we are the people by picking up the phone, by writing an email to your congressman. So, mobilize, advocate, support your organization, support the, support the Council of Islamic Organization, uh, support your Care Chicago, support MBA, support uh, Syrian Community Network, support SAMS, support the Islamic Foundation, the Mosque Foundation, Mecca Foundation. All of these institutions are working to empower the Muslim community so they can be at equal level with everyone else. We believe that we are contributing to the welfare of this community. I'm a physician, I'm healing patients. Some of you are physicians, some of you, some of you are attorneys, some of you are writers, some of you are artists. This is what America is built on, about the diversity of this country. So make sure that empower your organization because with, without strong organization, we will be very weak. Empower the council and empower your um, uh, own organization. Mobilize, advocate, and come to our event. So we have a major event coming on April 27th. This is called Illinois Muslim Action Day. So where we have uh, Muslim, young and old, coming to Springfield to advocate for legislative agenda that is not Muslim-centric. Uh, we advocate about things that will benefit our society, our cities, our state. So come join with us this year, it has to be very special. Last year we had 200 people in Springfield, this year we want to have 2,000 people in Springfield. Muslims, Catholics, Jews, all of us united together to empower and improve our community here in the state of Illinois. All politics are local, even though that we sometimes we hear this rhetoric from DC, but without local politics, without connecting to your legislators, state representatives, state senators, then we will be very weak. So make sure that you empower your community by empowering your local uh, politicians and connecting to them. And finally, donate. Without money, without resources, nothing can be done. This institution is built on resources. MashaAllah, in the Muslim community, in our partners, we have very wealthy individuals. I'm going to ask you today to donate for CIOGC because this is an event that was organized by CIOGC. Yep. So, to CIOGC, or you can you know, put $25, $50, and this will be going to. So you can donate online.
online as well. We will donate online, and this will be going uh, will be going to empower the civic engagement uh, council of the CIOGC. Uh, we have a lot of work to do, building coalitions, working with our partners, and empowering our community, building bridges of hate of uh, of love to overcome hate. And in order to do that, we need a lot of resources. So donate to the council to CIOGC, and you can put in the memo, stand with Muslim fund. Stand with Muslims fund. And we need volunteers. We need many volunteers in the new in, in the in this next four years, especially in this year. So you can call CIOGC uh, to volunteer 312-506-0070. Thank you very much for the Islamic Foundation for Islamic for each one of you who made our day great. And now you can go and celebrate the Super Bowl if you are interested in this. It's a matching day. It's a matching day in April.